How do I know what your goal is on a leaderboard? I would attract the goals. I would have a goal board. Okay, goal board. Okay. Is it digital or physical? Digital. Okay, so you have a digital goal board. What does it live on? Google Slides. Google Slides. So you go in and you're like, hey, Tyler, what's your goal this month? And then he puts a number on the Google Slide? I have a Google Slide. You have a Google Slide. Okay, cool. And then what do you have to do? I mean, I'm just bringing up things that you guys are going to need to go back and implement. We talked about assignments, and he had this thing on Apple Note that was a path to preparation, right? So now you got Apple Notes. What else have we talked? Like, I'm just thinking of tools. A team group chat, right? We talked about, like, we got to communicate with them. Add them to the group chat. What other tools are you doing with this onboarding? Because you got to go add them to your Google slide and say, what's your goal? Google Drive. Google Drive, which is for what? So documents, yeah, drive. We'll call those resources. What else do you got to give them? You start a new rep, what are they getting? The sales manual, okay? So sales manual, is that a physical, digital thing? There's a digital one and a physical one. What else? Okay, they got to get the schedule. Where does that live? Okay, so let's just call it Google Calendar. Does that mean you give them an email or anything? Or do you create an email for them? Do they then have a G Suite email or do they use their own? What is that? They use their own. Anybody create an email, a company email? You do? You have company emails? I'm not saying you have to. I'm just saying some companies create a company email and some companies are like, use your own. So we'll call it an email. What else? The digital marketing materials, do you give them physical marketing materials? Meaning like a slick or a card or anything? Okay, so, so we'll call these like selling materials. Slicks, badge, what else? Uniform. So rep profile, meaning I need to know their pay, their sizing, maybe their birthday. That's a good one. An anniversary is a good one to put on there. Home address. Yeah, address. Okay, so notes. So I'm going to tag this rep as his why is to go buy a new Ford F-150, right? That's very unique. It's not a number. It's like an individual that might live on Google Gold Board, but it also might live in a note. I don't know. So maybe forms, okay, now what Google form, what do you, uh, form, we'll call these forms. Type form, Google form, job form. Remember he talked about milestone club, like, you know, hey, I have an infinite milestone or I have tracking their incentives and stuff like that. So we'll call this tracking performance, which may be, why is that different than a CRM? CRM is going to just give you hard data, but if I make a game or I make a milestone thing, is my CRM telling me about the milestone club? Most of the time, no, right? So you're like, okay, there's CRM login that I got to give them, right? And then a knocking app login that I got to give them. What other logins am I giving them? So a training, we'll call this DDDU, training login. What else? You guys have to have this all really clear. Does anybody just have this already written out? So what am I getting at? Why is it so hard to scale? Is because nine times out of 10, you haven't even written this down, let alone remember to do it streamlined efficiently and quick enough to where it feels seamless. So when we think about training and onboarding, you're like, oh shoot, I haven't printed slicks. Or do I get a business card? Because at my last roofing company, I got a business card. I, yeah, I mean, yeah, we can make you business. Hey, who do we use as our business card printer? And you're like, that's, or no, we don't do business cards until you hit 10 sales. Does that make sense? Like you need to know that because if they ask you, you're like, no, our process is once you get to 10, we'll give you your own business cards. If you want to go get business cards on your own, that's it. But you need to be able to answer that question. Uniform, you know, you have to have a stock of inventory with sizing so that you're not like, oh, shoot, I don't have the uniforms. Like, and you have to have those in a place to where it's not like everyone just raids that closet. Have it behind a lock key because what happens is everybody, when they don't want to do the laundry, they just keep going and getting new ones. And you're like, those cost me $50, dude. And you're like, you have how, where did they all go? We just ordered them. Who's been there before? So is there a closet where I lock my inventory and who's in charge of making sure they look at the inventory when it's getting low and ordering it, write that down. So when we think of training and onboarding, I want us to think of all of these systems.